WWE is the world's greatest circus, and we go from town to town like a circus, and the train doesn't stop. We have three live shows every single week of the year. We have at least 36 premium live events every single year. Every single one of those has a different look, a different feel. It's a monster that needs to be fed all the time. When we have to make a graphics package for the show, usually we have to make around 400 deliverables. We have ideally a month production time, but it could be down to two weeks or even a week. That really depends on the show. With Clash in Paris, the decision was made that we were going to make a sort of Van Gogh painterly look. The biggest challenge for Clash is we're using Unreal for the first time in the pipeline. Our lead artist on this, our visual effects supervisor, Cameron Whitehouse, he was the only one that I had trained in Unreal Engine up to that point. He had to take 400 plus deliverables and output them, and he had to do that within a two-week time period, which is highly shortened from what we normally have. We chose Unreal Engine for a very specific reason. We are rendering all the time. Rendering is at the end of the process and it is the hardest, longest part of the entire process. It's also prone to so many changes at the end that we then have to figure out. So Unreal Engine was an obvious solution. In the past, it would not be unusual for us to work really late nights, having to babysit a farm, re-render bad frames, with Unreal, we can do a 10K render in an hour when it would take those days before. We spent a lot of time in the pre-production phase wondering how we were going to execute a painterly look. Unreal Engine's ability to use the post-process volume to affect the entire world in three dimensions, not just sort of as what you would think a post-process is in a 2D way, but in a 3D way was invaluable in getting this look that we wanted, which is literally brush strokes in 3D on every single object. Every pitch process, we are writing a check that our asses have to cash. Over the many years I've been here, we have always steered away from pitches that would be too challenging, would create render pipeline bottlenecking. Unreal gives us the ability to rapidly prototype ideas, to explore a set that we can create, to work on lighting and art direct ourselves while we are building so that when we walk into the next pitch, we have a more fleshed out idea. WWE has an incredibly talented asset team, but we need them focused on hero assets while we are building everything else. Our modeler put out four different models for this Unreal set, which is the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, the Archway, and also the Louvre. But the overall city, we just found it from the Fab Library. We just drop it in and then it would just work. I truthfully could not be more thrilled with how Unreal improved the quality of life on this project. We essentially took our entire render farm, which is about 60 machines that are all rendering, and they often are working 24-7, down to one person using Unreal Engine on one machine, getting over 400 deliverables out just on that one machine. I mean, it's a huge contrast between what we did before and what we can do now. We definitely will continue using Unreal. We're going to start training every artist in the department to get familiar with Unreal, so we don't have to heavily rely on Cameron. 